Welcome to MyKneeReplacementRecovery.com. Today I'm going to share with you a few tips about being a passenger in a car and driving a car after TKR. My first experience getting in a car was the ride home from the hospital. It was a lot harder than I thought. My son picked me up with a compact car, which was a big mistake. The bigger the car, the better. If we had brought our larger SUV, it would have been much more comfortable. You might consider asking a friend or a relative that has a big car to pick you up from the hospital. There's also Uber and other uh, rideshare car services that might be available and might make your drive home more easy. For me, I didn't have to get back in the car for several days because I had an in-home therapist the first two weeks. My next trip out in the car was off-site to my physical therapist and I had a wife and son who took turns driving me there. I could not have driven myself, mainly because the surgery was on my right knee and it is the knee and leg that you need to break and control the gas. Uh, if it had been my left knee, I might have been able to prop my right knee up on a bench seat in a pickup or another vehicle and drove with my left foot. Getting in and out of the car was a little difficult. I found it easier to get into the passenger side than into to the back seat. Even though I could have elevated my seat in the back, my leg in the back seat, I was able to get in and out of the front passenger seat much easier. The next time after the therapist three days a week for three weeks that I needed to go to the doctor and ride in the vehicle, uh, it was much more comfortable. I was had more range of motion in my leg and it was easier to get in and out of the car. <clears throat> Once you do start feeling like you might be able to drive, my doctor suggested that I take short drives around the neighborhood uh, and do it at a time when there was little, if any, traffic and then take longer drives. That's how I started off at about five weeks post TKR. Then I began taking short trips uh, and running errands to the gas station, to the grocery store, and other places around town. At about 10 weeks, I took my first big trip, 280 miles. And during that trip, I made sure that I made frequent stops about every 45 minutes and I shared the driving with my wife. Particularly when we went through Los Angeles, I made sure she drove because you never know when there's an accident and stop and go traffic and having to brake constantly would have been a burden on my knee for sure. By sharing the driving, it made it very easy both up and back on that trip and I didn't have any problems at all as long as I got out of the car and walked around about every 45 minutes to an hour. I would suggest that you Take some of these tips, think about them, especially if it's your right leg. Don't expect to drive too early. You can also take a look at my blog, myknee-replacementrecovery.com. Thanks for watching the video.